All right, so your, this is what's called a biomechanical analysis of your running style. Now, we are going to go through the way he runs um, from bottom to top, mm -hmm. and we'll start at his feet and look at his initial contact time of the ground mm -hmm. and then go all the way up. I won't go too scientific, um, just so he understands it as well a little bit on the video when you redo it, yeah. but you'll be understand what I'm talking yeah. about anyway. Yeah. Okay, so on the left-hand side of this video here, we're going to look at the way your feet hit the ground. Okay, we want to try and land on our toes first. Okay, so as you can see there, we the first the first uh, contact time of the ground is his heels. Yep. And he's leaning fairly forward. Yep. All right. What we want is just to change that by doing a couple of different exercises, so he doesn't have to think about it too much. Mm -hmm. um, and then subconsciously, he makes the changes. Yep. Right. Yep. And that involves hurdles. That involves telling him to run high. Yep. Um, a couple of different t teaching techniques where it's easy for him to understand, mm -hmm. and subconsciously he starts to make changes because if they think about it too much at this stage mm -hmm. then it gets too difficult for yeah, them yeah. and they get frustrated they can do they can just shut down mm -hmm. or they can get distracted or whatever okay so that's the first thing we're going to we're going to look at now what i do like is because you're so young the flexibility is pretty good yep okay what will, I, what will help him as well is if he shortens that gap from his heel to his butt yeah okay okay so as he gets older if he, if he tries to, if we correct this habit now, then as he's older, he won't have to correct it and he'll be running more efficiently. Yep. yep. Right? Um, that's another area that, that we will look at and change. Um, then we go through to his knee lift. Okay, so if we go um, into there, all right, so we'll get another one. So as we come forward, it's fairly good, it's fairly high, but I'd love it to get a little bit higher. Yep. Okay. Upright. Yeah. So, what happens there is, once he brings that up, there's less torque in the body. So yep. you can imagine when you're running, it's two things going opposite. Yep. Yep. So if we get that up a little bit higher and get his arms and body a little bit straighter, then he'll be less inclined to put his head down and lean forward mm -hmm. and create that right and left yep. foot strike, and then his body's leaning right and left. Yep. Which you can see in the in the video to the right hand side. To see how immediately you can see if you zoom in, yep. where he bobs his head right and left. Yep. Because a he's trying to get the power to go forward. Yep. And b he's he's he's, he's off balance. Okay. What will help this as well is his arms. So as you can see, his arms when he takes off, they go really wide, mm -hmm. and trying to get momentum to come forward, and then they go across his body. So what we're going to do there is, again, remind him to keep his arms by his side mm -hmm. and use the words pocket to your chin. Okay. So what happens there is he associates that with going past his pocket yep. and coming up next to his chin. Okay. Okay. And that will, again, it, again help. All these little things will help his upper body from stop to swaying. Mm -hmm. So see how it sways right and left. Yep. Yep. And then obviously we focus on his head and make sure he um, focuses on a certain point in the distance and that will nullify his sway of his head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, there's nothing to focus on really. Yep. He just puts his head to the side and just naturally runs and tries to get power to go yep. forward. Yep. So they're the, they're the immediate things that we will focus on. Um, and then after he gets up to a certain point, he actually starts to get better. His arms come in. His head kind of gets without the 